And in our top business story, Abu Dhabi-based investment firm Mubadala and Abu Dhabi state-owned oil and gas investment company International Petroleum Investment Company are to merge under a directive from the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. According to reports from Emirates news agency WAM, a joint committee will be created and given the responsibility of merging the two companies. The merger of IPIC and Mubadala comes weeks after two state-run banks, National Bank of Abu Dhabi and First Gulf Bank, started merger talks aimed at creating the biggest bank in the Middle East by assets. Mubadala is a major investor in the UAE economy with stakes in Emirates Global Aluminium, green energy firm Mastar and a host of other diversified companies. It also has stakes in companies such as a U.S. giant GE and private equity group Carlyle. IPEC has mainly stakes in energy companies such as Austria's OMV and petrochemical firm Borealis. The Investment Corporation of Dubai, which holds stakes in some of the Emirates' top companies, posted a 3.7% drop in profit last year as revenue from oil and gas products and services fell. The profit attributable to equity holders of the company slipped to 22.90 billion dirhams in 2015 from 23.79 billion dirhams in the prior year, according to an earnings statement posted on Dubai Stock Exchange. Revenue from oil and gas products and services sank to 49.67 billion dirhams in 2015, compared with 71.20 billion dirhams in the year earlier. The state-owned investment corporation of Dubai has stakes in some of the Emirates' highest profile brands, including Emirates Airline, Emar Properties and Emirates NBD. In August 2015, 100% ownership of low-cost carrier Fly Dubai was transferred to ICD following a decree by the ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. During the year, distributions totaling 6.86 billion dirhams were made to the government, up from 2.77 billion dirhams in 2014. Abu Dhabi Airports announced a 5.6% increase in passenger traffic at Abu Dhabi International Airport for May compared to the same month last year. A total of 1,982,010 people travelled through the airport last month, exceeding May 2015's figure of 1,877,440. According to the figures released, there were a number of destinations that witnessed noteworthy growth in passenger traffic, with the UK exceeding its May 2015 figures by 18.4% last month and Egypt recording a 24.3% increase over the same period last year. The number of travellers with the airport as the final destination was up by 4.6% to 355,457 and the top five routes were Bombay, Doha, London Heathrow, Manila and Jeddah respectively. Arrival and departure transfers both showed an increase of 7.5% and 7.7% while the total number of transfer passengers recorded was 1,279,599 up by 7.6% which according to the airport operator reflects its connectivity and position as a global hub. About 10,000 new hotel rooms will open in Dubai throughout 2016, according to a new Dubai hotel market overview prepared by JLL for the hotel show Dubai. The report reveals that 621 new hotel rooms opened in Dubai during the first quarter of the year, with 9,400 rooms expected to be added to the market by the end of the year. Last month, Dubai hit the 100,000 hotel rooms milestone as the city aims to cement itself as a top 10 global destination in terms of available supply. Dubai's Department of Tourism and Commerce Marketing said earlier this year that it expects occupied room nights in hotels and hotel apartments to reach 36.9 million, representing 11 to 12 percent compound annual growth rate to 2018. It added that the overall room supply in Dubai is expected to reach 138,000 rooms by the end of 2018. Dubai Tourism said that with demand increasing, the overall projected occupancy rates until 2018 are expected to be around 77% despite the growth in capacity.